Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. And now we look at the book of Titus. And we will study chapter 1 today, another epistle from the Apostle Paul. And today I'm going to read the uh, the introduction. Paul would always start his uh, letter with an introduction. And that's what I want to read for you this morning. Verses 1 through 4. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the faith of God's elect and the knowledge of the truth that leads to godliness, a faith and knowledge resting on the hope of eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised before the beginning of time. And at his appointed season, he brought his word to light through the preaching entrusted to me by the command of God our Savior. To Titus, my true son in our common faith, grace and peace from God the Father in Christ Jesus our Savior. Uh, beautiful introduction here that Paul gives. That Paul writes, writes to Titus in his letter here, but also to all of God's elect for the knowledge of truth, uh, the knowledge that leads to stronger faith uh, to us. And the words I want to focus on are especially found in verse 2. Uh, the faith and knowledge resting on the hope of eternal life, which God who does not lie promised before the beginning of time. Uh, God who does not lie. Uh, just ponder on those words uh, for a minute. God who does not lie. Um, we see it all the time in this world. We've done it in this world. Pulled a lie, been hurt by a lie. And anytime that happens, the the relationship that is there is at the very least weakened, right? Uh, because there's uh, trust is weakened in that scenario when a lie is told and it weakens that relationship, damages it. God does not lie. And that is a, a wonderful truth. It is um, assurance given to us when God gives us all these promises in his word um, that they will come true, that they are coming true. Uh, so when God tells you today that uh, he is an ever-present hope, that he is with you, uh, you know he is there. When God says that even though the guilt of your past weighs on you, that God has taken that away, you know that is true. When God says that nothing can separate you from his love, you know that is true. When God says that no matter what you go through today, all of it is working for your eternal good, uh, you know that is true. And, and God does not lie. God keeps his promises. something that we are talking about uh, a great deal in our Wednesday Bible school as we go through the Old Testament. God holds to his promises. God keeps his promise. When God says something, it happens. Um, the list goes on. The promises of God. God does not lie. Uh, know that. Cherish that today and always. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the, the relationship that we have with you. And we know that we can trust you. Uh, because you never tell a lie. You always hold to the promises you give. And so allow us to trust. Uh, to trust you and trust the promises you give. The, the promises of forgiveness. The promises... Uh, that you are with us, the promise that you are in control, and that promise of eternal life that you have won for us. Help us to hold on to these each and every day of our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.